welcome back to my channel first i just want to give a quick shout out and say thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video so for today's video we're going to be doing uh, my prep routine and if you watched my last video this is the exact same prep routine so um, you can just skip over a little bit but if you're new here hey uh, this is my prep routine I don't show it too often but as you can see I went in with a cuticle pusher and I just pushed my cuticles back and now I'm going in with an e-file and a ballpoint uh, drill bit and really fully removing the cuticles off of my nail beds It's super important to do this and you don't want to forget because the main cause of lifting is prep and cuticles uh, is an easy way to cause your nails to lift. So if you ever have problems, uh, it's probably because you're not getting your cuticles well enough. What you can also do is use like a cuticle like lotion remover or a cuticle gel remover where you apply it and it just comes right off. Um, I used to use that before but this prep method works pretty well for me. Um, and now for lastly for the cuticles, I'm just going in with this different drill bit and just really making sure that those cuticles are fully off of my nail beds. I'm gonna switch over to a fine grit sanding band and I forgot to mention this is all on the lowest setting for speed. You wanna make sure you're on the lowest setting when working on your natural nails because it can cause a lot of damage um, if you go too high. Alrighty, so I use three products. Um, the first one I go in with is a dehydrator, and this product I did purchase off of Amazon. I'll be sure to have the link to this down below, and it is also listed in my Amazon storefront. Uh, I really do love this dehydrator. It works well for me, and it was the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. So I think it was about $4.99, and it works for me. Uh, but just note that, you know, what works for some people doesn't work for everyone. So if you're having troubles with prep and your nails are lifting often, just try and switch up your prep routine and figure out what really works for you. Alrighty, so now I'm going in with a Young Nails Protein Bond, and this is what changed the game for my prep routine. I definitely recommend giving this a try. Uh, this has made my nails, every single time I prep and use this product, my nails always last as long as I want them to. People often ask me, you know, how long do my nails last? They last until I want them to come off. They don't really chip or anything, um, and it's really because of that product. Alright, and lastly, I'm going to go in with the base coat. I love a few different base coats. I love the Model 1's base coat. Uh, the McCart base coat is really good as well. And I do like the Burano base coat. But right now, I'm going in with my OPI. OPI is always a good one. But this one I actually purchased from TJ Maxx. It came in a gel set with a top coat and base coat. And I did purchase it recently, so it might still be available um, at like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Alrighty, so for the shape today, we're going in with my new shape that I just added to my Etsy shop. This is the Almond Extra Short, and these nail tips are half matte, as you can see, um, and 
I showed a comparison in my prior or maybe two videos ago of this compared to my almond short but I did just update my Etsy shop so it shows all the sizing all the measurements comparisons on the hand so you can get a full picture of what the nails look like so I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out As you can see here, all I'm doing is going in and sizing them out to my nails and making sure that they fit wall to wall. Alrighty, we're gonna go in with my solid nail tip glue gel. This is also available for purchase in my Etsy shop. As you can see, I'm going in with a very small liberal amount and just applying. This solid gel has definitely been a game changer for me. It makes the nail application process so much easier, so much quicker, and so much faster. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Uh, but you get the hang of it, I would say, after about your third time. Uh, when I first started using it, I would either use too much or too little. Um, but once you use it one, two, three times, you really get the hang of the perfect amount uh, that you should be putting in your full nail covers. I do read all of your guys' comments and reviews, and you guys have been loving this solid nail tip glue gel, and I'm so happy because I love it as well. Alrighty, so here's what they're looking like. Um, I'm just gonna go in and cure, and I cure for about a minute and maybe 30 seconds, uh, but a minute is usually good enough for me. It just depends on the watt of your lamp. And I use a 120 watt lamp, so uh, one minute does it good for me. But now I'm going in with a 80-80 grit nail file. Uh, this is purchased off of Amazon. And I'm just going in and just really rounding off the tips a little bit. Since these are pre-shaped full nail covers, they do all of the shaping for you. So if you have problems shaping like I do, these are definitely going to be your best friends. I do have a ton of different sizes and shapes available uh, to purchase. So definitely check out my Etsy shop if, you know, this might not be your favorite shape or if you want something a little bit longer. Um, I do have different sizes and shapes available. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in and blend my cuticles. Um, I'm going in with that same ball pit, ball, ball point uh, drill bit that I use to prep. And I'm just going in and really making sure my cuticles are fully blended. Now here's my key. This is my star product, the Young Nails Protein Bond. I told you guys, this really does it for me when it comes to like lifting and uh, you know, whatnot. This product, I put it on my cuticles after using that, you know, ball point or the other drill bit. And it just helps really blend in those cuticles and make it look melted and seamless. And for my polish today, I'm gonna be going with this OPI polish and put it in neutral. I purchased this off of this site called Beyond, Beyond Nail Polish, I believe, or Beyond Polish. Um, you can purchase it 
this off Amazon if you have a beauty license, but I mean, you probably don't. I mean, if you do, good for you, but if not, I'll leave the link to where I purchased this from. Um, but I'm going to go in and do three coats of this, I believe. Three or two coats. I think I did three coats. Alrighty, so now I'm going in with this gel builder base and I did purchase this off of Amazon and I'm not sure the shade um, but I'll make sure to leave a link for it down below um, but I'm going for like this kind of milky ombre pinkish type of color so I did two or three coats of the put it in neutral and then I'm doing one thin layer of this milky um, builder base on top of it. So next we're gonna go in and do the design. I did it on all of my nails already. It's really super easy, so I didn't you know, think it was necessary to show you how I did it on every nail. Uh, but to do this, to achieve this look, all I did was use nail dotter tools. And for the smallest dot, I just used a nail art brush that I purchased from Shein. Um, but if you guys know, you know, like, when I first used to do nails when I was a kid, probably like 10 years old, 11 years old, I had, this was the, like the first art tool that I brought were these nail, nail daughter tools and to this day I still use them. But you can purchase these from anywhere and I just went in with this nail art brush from Shein, a really fine tip nail art brush and I just did my three dots and I cured. All right, so now we're going to top everything off. I'm using the my Rider Die, the Model 1's top coat. As you guys know, I rave about this top coat. I love it. Um, it makes my nails, like, I never really get chipped nails or anything. So I definitely recommend giving this top coat a try. It is not a no-wipe top coat. Also, this is the gel polish I use for the black in case you were curious. This is, I think that says 579. This is a Beatles polish or 575. Not sure, but this is just a black Beatles gel polish. Alrighty, the last step in my favorite cuticle oil. Today I'm going to be going in, I thought lavender, but I guess I decided cherry blossom. Um, I'm going to be going in with this cuticle oil. These are all natural um, cuticle oils that are available for purchase in my Etsy shop as well. Ultra hydrating and all natural, so definitely give it a try. I say it in every video, it does not matter how cute your nails are, your cuticles cannot be crusty. 
all right so here's the final nail look super elegant it's definitely going towards that clean aesthetic if you guys enjoyed please don't forget to leave me a like comment and subscribe thank you guys so so much for all of your support and i will catch you in my next video bye